بذكر الله ترتاح القلوب وتنزاح المتاعب والكروب لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم نور قلوبنا بأنوار معرفتك ومحبتك وخشيتك وذكرك يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقنا الصدق والإخلاص واليقين وأخلاق الصالحين اللهم ارزقنا الشوق إليك والأنس بك واجعل قرة العين في الصلاة يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظنا والإسلام والمسلمين وبارك فيهم في هذه البلاد وفي كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم اهل سكان أهل هذه البلاد والإسلام وقت بهم أجمعين مسلمين موحدين ومينا إليك يا رب العالمين اللهم ارفع عنا البلاء والوباء والأمراض والأسقام برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اشفنا اللهم اشفنا اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا وجميع مرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وجميع موتى المسلمين وارحمنا إذا ناصرنا إلى الموت يا رب العالمين آمين يا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد البليفرس السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته صبحكم الله بالخير ثبتم وطاوم شاكم وتبوأتم من الجنة منزلة من الله سبحانه وتعالى أكسبت أور صلاة أور ذكر أور عبادة أور سيرفينج and forgive our sins our shortcoming آمين يا رب العالمين إن شاء الله today we're gonna talk about سيرة still uh, class and we t- take the topic of Hijra, the Hijra and Nabawi, prophetic migration from Mecca to Medina, but now from uh, practical side, practical side or side which is Fiqh al Hijra, Fiqh al Hijra, Fiqh al Hijra, Fiqh, when you say Fiqh, your mind go to Salah, to fasting Ramadan, to Hajj, fiqh, yes. Also, sirah has fiqh. Fiqh means understand. Understand and take the benefits and the lessons from that event, from that incident. So fiqh al-hijrah, not only to tell the story of hijrah and what happened in, in, in order, but learn beyond the incident, beyond the event and take benefit to apply now in your life. Is a point. Implementation. Yani yeah, hijra is historic uh, event, early. No hijra now. La hijra ta'ba'da al-fatih. As the Prophet said, no hijra after fatih Makkah. No hijra. So what Muslims do after that, take the lessons, and the benefit, and apply in your so here we're going to talk about fiqh al-hijrah. Understand hijrah and take the benefit and listen from that. Uh, al-hijrah, linguistic side. To move from place to another. Move, <coughs> transfer, transportation, move, <coughs> travel from place to another by purpose. For purpose. Niyyah. Yeah. Niyya is different and variety. Yeah. Could be for dunya, right? Hijrah for dunya. Could be for deen. Could be for both. Yeah. And so on. So hijrah for niyya, for purpose. And could be for deen. Could be for dunya. Could be for uh, both of them, deen and dunya. And Islam teach us is a point. Major point today. Teach us that every movement in our life should be by niyyah. And this niyyah 
for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every movement, subhanAllah, every movement. You, know, you go to work, your job, establishment. Salah, knee of salah and had no, everything. Knee and everything. You go make shopping, Walmart, HAB, whatever. Establish knee. Everything. Because every word and every action is going to be asked about that. I'm teaching myself first. Remind myself first. Every word and every action, it, there is question on that. So, going to be asked about, you go to the such a place, such and such. Yes, please. What you need uh, to make sure for what? Support my family, support my children, support my, myself. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now you mm -hmm. niya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we go without niya, just moving for moving, yeah? uh, for for pleasure, for whatever. No. Islam teaches us to adjust and renew, update your niya. And if you don't know that, you have knowledge about that, now we have knowledge. So update your niya. Upgrade your niya for everything. So hijra. Uh, could be for deen, for dunya, for both. Allah said the Quran, وَمَنْ يُهَاجِرْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ يَجِدْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُرَاغَمًا كَثِيرًا وَسَعًا وَمَنْ يَخْرُجْ مِنْ بَيْتِهِ مُهَاجِرًا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ ثُمَّ يَدْرِكُهُ الْمَوْتُ فَقَدْ وَقَعَ عَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ الله أكبر. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا And whoever immigrates for the cause of Allah, hmm, look, for the cause, sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will find on the earth many alternative locations. Bada'il, alternative locations, and abundance. Si'a, abundance. And whoever leaves his home as an immigrant, to Allah and His Messenger. And, uh, and then death overtakes him during this journey. Death come. That happened. Death come. What happened? The niya before starting for Allah. So what, what you expect from that? Ah, oh, look at that. His reward has already become incumbent. Huh? Incumbent incumbent upon Allah and Allah is ever forgiving and merciful subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why we have to establish me establish near for, for before any action because because maybe death come during that action so now you have a previous niya before starting that action Allahu Akbar so if we reflect in the globe, and this is a custom of Muslims, reflect, think, and consider. Reflect, think, and consider in everything around you. Look at the sun, look at the moon, look at the stars, galaxies, look at the plants, look at the seas, what's inside the seas, deep, and reflect and think. And every thinking give us a step ahead toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, 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 in force, in power, our faith and our iman. So if we reflect in the globe, in the globe, universe, you're going to find every being has hijrah, kind of hijrah. Yes, if you see the sun, the, the earth, that planet we live on it, move and the moving every second and different moving subhanallah we learn from knowledge now from from the astronomy that earth has circle orbit around itself you know that to get the day and night yeah? make the night come after the uh, day, night, day, night. Day. Why? Because the movement of the earth. This is hijrah, kind of hijrah, movement. Because the, the action or the, the, the result for that 
you have new day. Day after day, you have new week, new month, new year, right? And these, still, the planet of Earth, move around the sun, right? To make these four seasons, winter, autumn, fall, uh, summer, spring, sun, year, right? And the system old, solar system, the sun, the moon, the earth, the Mars, all the system move around a specific center, central point. Make sure, subhanAllah. So all these harakah, all these movement, motions, kind of hijrah, kind of hijrah, okay? The birds, the science tell us that the birds move from north at the time of ice, right, snow, to Africa or Middle East for a while and come back to their nests again back. Hijra, right? Hijra. The fish, the fish in the sea, right? We have some fish, fish that travel from ocean to another ocean, from the sea to another sea for a specific purpose, for productions, for change the temperature of the water, many reasons. Hijra. Hijra. So Hijra, not only in human being, we learn it from the globe. It's global motion, global movement. All the movement, all the globe has these types, different type of a Hijra. Now, so Hijra is part of daily life, daily life. Uh, in, in, in culture, in Arabic culture, we say Al Haraka Baraka. Al Haraka Baraka means the movement is blessing. Once you move, there is kind of blessing. Gana come by, by knee, of course. Uh, so when the niya come with uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you receive the baraka, the blessing of that movement, the fruit. From that, Islam, we reach to this point, Fiqh al-Hijra. Fiqh al-Hijra. Fiqh al-Hijra. Understand Islamic meaning for Hijra and how to update and greet your niya to make your, this Hijra for Fi Sabil Layt Baraka wa Ta'ala. So, Al-Hijra Nabawiya, early Hijra, Prophet Muhammad and his companions and the uh, Ummah. They migrated from Mecca to me under a hard time, under persecution. It was very, very hard time. You know the story about that. Uh, and Hijrah and Nabawiyyah became history. Alas, no Hijrah after Fath, as the Prophet said. But still, there is different type of a of Hijrah we can apply it. So a Muslim make Hijrah by Tawbah. A tawbah kind of hijrah because you leave specific behavior, situation, go to righteous behavior and situation. So tawbah kind of hijrah. To leave Muslim, leave shirk and kufr and bid'ah and all that stuff to go to sunnah and Quran and tawheed is hijrah. Uh, Al haram, to leave haram to halal uh, is kind of hijrah. Al Ma'asi to a ta'at from disobedient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, sins, the Zunub Ma'asi to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this kind of hijrah. Naam. So we, we practice hijrah every day. Uh, we practice hijrah every day. So a Muslim, the believer, should have this meaning of the hijrah in his daily actions and life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say amazing, amazing ayah about this who deny hijrah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yawm al qiyam But at the minute of death, subhanAllah, when the spirit come out of the body, the angels came, and so we look at that dialogue, Quran. Inna al-ladheena tawaffahumul malaika zalimi anfusihim قالوا فيما كنتم قالوا كنا مستضعفين في الأرض قالوا ألم تكن أرض الله واسعة فتهاجروا فيها فأولئك مأواهم جهنم وبئس المصير سبحان الله 
إلا المستضعفين من الرجال والنساء والولدان لا يستطيعون حيلة ولا يهتدون سبيلة فأولئك عسى الله أن يعفو عنهم وكان الله عفوا غفورا الآية دي عظيمة جدا Very great ayah concerning that topic of hijrah Some people they expose excuse for being disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, or, or why? Because we are under persecution, are under pressure, under we can't we don't have any way to get out from that situation and worship Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not excuse. Why? Because there is hijrah. And Allah opened the land, opened the land, opened the earth for all to move from place to another to the target to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his earth. If you have here a hard place, okay, leave it and go to another easy place to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the target is, the purpose is to have freedom to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the consequence is, look at that ayah, speak about the situation of this who follow this excuse without, you know, uh, evidence. The angels talk to them when they take the spirit and punish them during uh, take the spirit from their body. So indeed, those who whom the angels take in death while wronging themselves, wronging themselves, the angels will say, when that, from the ayah we understand, when the angels come to take the spirit, death minute, there is kind of dialogue, dialogue between the angel and that person look at that the angel will say in what condition were you they will say we were opposed in the land we were opposed opposed in the land the angel will say wasn't the earth of Allah spacious enough for you to immigrate therein it is no place to change your place to another place to worship your Lord. For those, their refuge is hell, hellfire. So it is not excuse for the person to disbelieve because of, because of the land and the time is hard. No, leave your land and time and go to another place to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peacefully. Subhanal malik. An evil, <clears throat> it is as destination, except for the oppressed among men and women and children who cannot devise a plan, nor are they directed to a way. Some people they don't have any, any healer, any any plan, any way, any power to do that. Allah accept these people from that. For those it is expected that Allah will pardon them and Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. There is occasion for that. <clears throat> In the Hijrah, the Hijrah, the Nabawiyya, prophetic Hijrah, it was obligation. It was obligation. For this, like Salah, like to come from Mecca to Medina is not optional. So some people stay in Mecca stayed in Mecca. Rasul migrated and all Sahaba, majority, still some. Some of them, the powerless, slaves, poor people, they cannot, so few of them stayed and powerless to migrate. Some of them, they had power to migrate. So this ayah specifically come to these uh, figures, these people, but cover every Time and every place for believer should has this uh, free place, a peaceful place to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and join the community, Muslim community and hand beside hand, person beside person to make the strong society, strong community to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peacefully 
on earth. This is what we understand, one of the lessons from the fiqh of Hijrah. Wallahu a'la wa a'lam. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakum allahu khayra. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.